everyone, this is Oscar. And this is Bella. We are your new ABE TV anchors. We'll, we will be starting your week off until May. Today is a Monday, today is Monday, March 3rd, and it is a D1 day for special area classes. We have lots of time for snow, we have lost a lot of time for snow days this winter. To make up some of the time we lost, we are adding 30 minutes to each school day. We will be starting class at 7.40 and dismissing 10 minutes later than usual at 2.45. Bus pickup times haven't changed, so you should still be at your bus stop at the same time. If you are a car rider, you might want to start riding the bus so you can get here in time. Dro that drop-off line can be really long. We have two birthday stars today. Happy birthday to Cecilia Greenlee and Olivia Park. Please come to the office after, after announcements to get your birthday pencil. In the ABE Cafe, you will have a choice of a ch General Tso's chicken rice bowl or a pulled pork barbecue sandwich. On the side, you can have oriental blend vegetables, celery sticks, and assorted fruit. Today's joke is from Rachel and Miss Colbert's class. Why do fish swim in salt water? I don't know. Why? They swim in salt water because pepper makes them sneeze. <coughs> We've been getting really good jokes. Keep turning them in. Put your name and your teacher's name on it so you can have credit for your awesome joke. Miss Richmond sent us some fantastic pledge leaders from Miss from her fourth grade class. Miss Jordan, are you ready for ISEP next week? Good morning, Amy Beverlin family. And yes, I am absolutely ready. And I know that every Amy Beverlin star that is taking ISTEP is going to be ready for that test too. Boys and girls, it gives us the opportunity to share all the great things that you have learned this year. So we look forward to the opportunity to take ISTEP and participate in that so that you can share everything that you have learned. I just want to remind you something that our great anchors already shared with you. It was very, very busy getting into school today. So please ride the bus if you can, if, if that's possible. Please get on the bus tomorrow morning. Your bus times have not changed. And we'll try to get some additional traffic help out there, but it would really help if you rode the bus. At this time, our pledge leaders are going to introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm Joey. Hi, I'm Grace. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Logan. Hi, I'm Hannah. Thank you very much. Please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge to the allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Did you know that kids used to work in factories, farms, and even mines? Wow, I thought having to do chores around the house was hard. Poor families sent their children to work to get money. Bosses like to hire children because they're more obedient and would work for less money. Lots of people thought kids should be in school learning instead of working all day. On March 3, 1842, Massachusetts passed the first law against child labor. The law limited kids to a 10-hour workday. Believe it or not, many kids worked longer than that. It wasn't until almost 100 years later, in 1938, that it became illegal for kids under 14 to work. I'm so glad that we get to come to school and learn instead of working all day in a factory. Me too. I won't complain about doing a few chores at home. That's all for today. You can, see, you can also see us on YouTube and Facebook. This is Oscar. And this is Bella saying please take a moment of silence and work hard at school today. Thank you.